In a world where technology is constantly evolving and new sources of energy are being sought after, one such untapped source of electricity may just be the sun. Solar energy is abundant, renewable, and affordable, making it one of the most promising sources of electricity on the market. Not only is solar energy becoming more popular as a means of powering homes and businesses, but it's also being looked at as a potential solution to global warming. Architecture and technical value exist in panels covering millions of acres of natural landscapes, but it's yet in its inception. Deserts, mountains, and rivers are no longer roadblocks but rather resources that may be used to reach this goal. Now under the scorching heat of the Arabian sun, a massive building project is making real progress. Rooted deep within Dubai's desert walls, the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park, located near Sheikh Al Dahal, about 50 kilometers south of Dubai, with a total area of 77 square kilometers, the project is named after the Emirates ruler and the UAE's vice president and prime minister, and it continues to grow and is leaping milestones. Even though the project is in its eighth year of completion, satellite images now provide a sense of scale. Miles of photovoltaics arrayed in precise east-west lines, their regularity in stark contrast to the folds and lines of the dunes that encircle the power plant. Once completed, the $13.6 billion project will be able to power up to 1.3 million households, leading to a reduction of 6.5 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions each year. Clean energy generation has been a significant emphasis of the UAE's attempts to assure long-term development in the country over the previous decade. An idea of a UAE endeavor encouraging environmentalism is the Dubai Massive Solar Park project. In 2012, the UAE announced the Green Economy Program for Environmental Sustainability with the goal of making the nation a worldwide pioneer in the green economy, goods, and technology. Towards the middle of the century, the Dubai Clean Energy Vision 2050 aspires to achieve an energy mix in the Emirates that is mostly based on renewable resources. As part of the plan, the Emirates seeks to have 75% of its energy come from clean sources by the year 2050, which would equate to around 42,000 megawatts of green energy. The massive solar park is just the remedy they need. In this project, there are two ways energy is being made and stored. First, using solar cells also called photovoltaic cells or PV tech that convert sunlight directly into electricity. Besides using PV technology, the long-term project will also include concentrating solar power. Concentrated solar power, or CSP, is a method of producing energy by reflecting sunlight using mirrors. Natural sunlight is reflected, amplified, and targeted into a single specific point by the mirrors, which is then turned into heat. The heat is then used to generate steam, which is ultimately used to spin the turbines, ending in the generation of electrical power. This can be done again and over again because of CSP technology's ability to retain the heat. So, it can be operated on days when there's no sunlight, as well as before dawn and after sunset. In effect, this means that CSP can continue to generate power even when the sun isn't shining and for extended periods of time at night. So the power in the middle of all these mirrors in the Dubai Solar Project will be able to store heat for up to 15 hours and can produce electricity 24 hours a day. From the get-go, the project was slated to finish in five phases. In the first phase of the project, a solar farm of 13 megawatts was installed. Everything went well, and on October 22, 2013, it was officially open for business. Next came the second phase of a $320 million project that produced 200 megawatts of power. The second phase was scheduled to be commissioned by April 2017, but it was never dragged that late. In fact, it was finished a month earlier, on March 22, 2017. The phase includes 2.3 million installations of solar panels over an area of 4.5 square kilometers. The 200 megawatt second phase of the project caused worldwide attention 
as the winning bid of the tender set a new record low tariff of only 5.89 cents per kilowatt hour. This was almost 20% cheaper than any prior unsubsidized power purchase deal that has been executed elsewhere in the world. Following that, in April 2015, the developer formally announced the third phase, which would have installed capacity of 800 megawatts. The third phase was finished in 2020. The method used to make energy was the same throughout the first three phases, which was the photovoltaic approach. But that changed during the fourth phase of the project. The 950 megawatt fourth phase was the world's biggest investment project combining concentrated solar power with photovoltaic cells. In fact, it used three hybrid technologies to produce clean energy, 600 megawatts from parabolic basin complex, 100 megawatts from a solar power tower based on the molten salt technology, and 250 megawatts from photovoltaic panels. There's more work to be done on the 600 megawatts of these three and is expected to be completed by the end of this year. After completion, phases 1 to 4 will have a combined capacity of 1,963 megawatts, placing it towards the top of the list of the world's biggest solar power plants currently under construction. Even though the fourth phase is yet to be fully completed, work on the fifth stage has already begun. Phase 5 is split into two sections, the 300 megawatts and the second 600 megawatt. The first stage of production has already been finished in 2021, and the second stage is projected to be completed by the end of 2023. Once finished, this giant solar project would have the capacity to generate 5,000 megawatts of electricity. However, reaching these massive figures is merely the beginning of the transition. Durability, the ability to withstand adverse weather conditions and the ravages of time, is also crucial. The landscape of Dubai has its own set of issues for managers to cope with. The collection of dust on power production modules might have a negative impact on the performance of the system. To combat this, panel coating is applied to the modules. But that's not the only problem. In the long run, temperature fluctuations could speed up the degradation process of cells. During summers, the capital sees temperatures as high as 50 degrees Celsius and as low as 15 degrees Celsius at night, which can increase the cost of the project. If all of these issues can be controlled, the Dubai Solar Park project will make a positive contribution in three major areas, the first of which is the environment. The use of renewable energy sources will lessen the nation's reliance on fossil fuels, which will result in a considerable reduction in carbon emissions. Ultimately, this will contribute to making our city a healthier and safer place to live. It also lends encouragement to the social programs of the state. Last but not least, the economic advantages are significant. A significant portion of the population is already dependent on the energy industry, and the number continues to grow with each new project. The population in the area will surely profit from lower energy expenses in the future. All things considered, this indicates that Dubai is boosting the world drive to achieve a sustainable development model. There is still a long way to go before mankind can even begin to tap into the sun's full capacity. In fact, more than 10,000 times the Earth's total use of solar energy is striking the Earth at any given moment. So, if you can get your engineers around it to tap that energy, you wouldn't be dependent on any of the fossil fuels. For the time being, it looks like Dubai is taming the power of the sun. That should be it. Take care, and we'll be seeing you in the next one.